I watched uh, season two of Hilda. Remember that that cozy kid show that I was oh, telling you yeah. about? Oh yeah, you did tell me about that, but I haven't had a chance to check it out. How how did it play out? It was a lot of fun. Um, it's it's just such a wonderful comfort show uh, that me and Emma have been watching. It's it's delightful uh, <laughs> and. And so sweet. So few things you watch nowadays are nice or sweet. They always have some turn and make it into ugly. Or I mean, it is dark. It but... is dark in places, and actually in a lot oh, of places. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. One okay. of the characters kind of gets killed twice. <laughs> twice? What is he like? Uh... There's there's an episode that deals with like immortal Viking warriors. You know how in the legend they they all fight and then at the end they put themselves back together in Nordic myth. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah. they do an episode about that and one of the characters kind of joins them and then gets annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> it's <Okay>. super dark. <laughs> but you know, yeah, they they <laughs> They do a lot of traumatizing things to that character. Uh, a uh, lot. It sounds, like a, it sounds like a Kenny character. No. My biggest uh, complaint with the show is really how they handle that character in particular. I love him. I think the, act, the voice actor just puts so much character and life into him. And he's such a, he's such a sweetheart. And I love him to death. And I just wish they gave him more things to do. They they really focus hard on the other two characters in their their little trio, and he, they don't really give him a. They do not give him a clear role in their dynamic, right? It's kind of the 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 Ron thing, you know how when they adapted the books, the Harry Potter books into movies, they kind in the books Ron knew everything about the Wizarding world, and that was kind of his thing where. Harry didn't know anything about the Wizarding World, and neither did Hermione, so he was the one who kind of knew the culture. And that was right. a huge part of the dynamic. And then in the movies, they kind of downplay that, and Hermione knows everything. Mm -hmm. It feels a bit like that, where this figure, this character doesn't have, like, a thing that he does well. He's a, he's a scaredy cat, and he's not too bright, and he's not... <laughs> bad combination he 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 kind of doesn't have a thing but i love him he's great he's a great character i just wish they would give him now, what is it that you like about him because because i feel like the writers are against him oh so he's like the underdog so you're, <laughs> exactly you're rooting for the underdog I, okay, i'm rooting it. for him because <laughs> because i feel like the writers are not Supporting him, and also the voice actor who plays him is a delight. An abandoned pie. Oh, that's eerie. I don't need emotional support, but I do. He, he's just a he's just a sweetheart. He's very he's very lovable. And this was a problem in season one as well, where they didn't really give him a role. And then in season two, I was hoping they'd give him something, uh, but it almost they almost made it worse. Like there even the episodes that focus on him. He doesn't really have a lot of agency in them. The ine inevitably, the other two kind of have to bail him out or help or help out, and it's not it it's not him ever that's kind of driving the force in his own story. And I, I find that disappointing because uh, uh, okay. I because I like him and I think they they could do more. He's very underutilized in your opinion. I, I think so. I, I did like some of the things they did with the other characters. One of them is becoming a witch now, so she she's learning witchcraft. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's, okay. It's great. I, I, how, now, how do they do their magic in this world? I, is it internal? Is this it, is, like, it, food? It, it, <laughs> Is it is it learned? You have to like it's learned times and it's learned. It's very okay. learned. Uh, but there's okay, okay. It's it's like you have to follow the spell the the, the instructions okay, and you have to read three times. You know, draw a pentagram, run around in the circle, light three candles. Yeah, no, kind of like that. But it, I enjoyed that uh, thing. I think that was a fun development. It was a good progression of that character. And then there and then they they introduced sort of an antagonist, which they didn't really have in season one. In the form of this, like, safety patrol officer guy who, um... Oh, a rent-a-cop! Oh, those are really fun. He's kind of a, 
a doofus, and okay. he he has a legendary ancestor that was a great troll slayer, so he wants to be known for things like that. So he's kind of fear-mongering and trying to make an issue everywhere so that he can come in and save it. <laughs> That's kind of his role. He's, he's desperate to make a Like, I've got... I've got big shoes to fill, man. Yeah. I don't have any trolls to kill right now, but I gotta do something. So that's kind of his thing, but he's also kind <laughs> of a do- uh, uh, an, an idiot. Uh, they, in concept, I think this this was a character that could have worked. I think they went too far into making him ridiculous. Like they so like a dumb, like a super dumb jock or something. Yeah, but no, it's not it's not his st- his stupidity that's the problem. It's just they t- kind of turn him into a straw man. He's like always wrong no matter what. Oh, no, even when okay, it doesn't okay. even when it doesn't really make sense for him to think this way, he doesn't feel like a person, which which stands out cuz this kid show does a pretty good job of making a lot of things feel like people and feel like alive, and right. he kind of stands out because he he really doesn't. He doesn't feel like a person. Um mm. Got it. His sidekick is fun because his sidekick is like this overly serious rule following uh, mm-hmm. gr- uh, lady. They they have a fun dynamic. I enjoyed that. It was a good second season. Uh, it had some great episodes. The first episode that I felt kind of weak was in this season. Like I wasn't crazy about their Christmas special. It was just kind of okay. Um, okay. But the the best episode so far is was in this. I mean, some great episodes. Oh, okay, uh, nice. There was okay. one that was talking about her back. You know how she has a adorable deer fox as, like, a pet? I mentioned okay. this to you, yeah. where it's, like, this mm-hmm. little white yeah. fox with little antlers. Like, too cute. Like, yes. things the cuteness meter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His name's Twig. He's <laughs> He's the cutest thing ever. They do an episode talking about, like, how they met and about their relationship. It is the... I was sobbing, Mom. It was... It was so moving. Oh, my God. I'm I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Well, that's fantastic. That's what the show's supposed to do. I... I, Okay. It was so good. Oh, my God, I'm crying again. That was an amazing (laughs) episode. Oh, my God. It and talk. It's just and there was this gr- awe and majesty to like finding out the backstory of of deer foxes, and <laughs> it was it was it was fantastic. Best episode. I mean, and I, and then it made me think about Maya, and I got really emotional. Yeah, well, Maya is still kicking. I... Our silver wolf is still still going. You know. She's getting up there in the ages, in age, but she's uh, she's still going strong. Yeah, I look forward to seeing her. Oh yeah, she's like, oh, I can. I, she, every, she wears everything right on her face. I can't wait her to see her look on her face. Like, oh, where have you been? <laughs> she's like, I thought you'd die. <laughs> <laughs> you get lost from the pack or something? Where, what's what's going on? Well, she's gonna smell the cat on you and probably look at you and go, you traitor. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know her opinion on cats, which we can't seem to change her opinion on them. Mmm, tasty. Even with our best efforts. <laughs> well, you have a, a great night. And uh, give Molly a scratch. And I'll talk to you soon. All right. I will. Love you, bunches. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye, Angel.